Hey everyone, welcome to another video lesson from Navigation Trading. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about trading short strangles during a market crash. We get this question from our members all the time. Yeah, the strategy is working great now, but what happens if we have a crash like we did in 2008? Many times newer traders have a fear of trading naked options. They think, oh my gosh, if 2008 happens again, uh, I could lose all my money and, and so forth and so on. So I want to take this time, take this video to show you a back-tested study of trading short strangles. So here's the criteria that we used in our study. We're looking at the S&P 500, SPY. We're entering these short strangles with 45 days to expiration. We typically like to enter anywhere from 30 to 60 days. So 45 days is right in the middle. We closed our winners at 50% of max profit, like we typically do with our short strangles. And we looked at a couple different time frames. One, we looked at the most recent five years. So just went back five years. This has been a pretty outstanding bull market during that period. And so you would think that short strangles do well over that period because if the market goes up, implied volatility is contracting. Uh, potentially giving you profit with your short strangles. So we wanted to look at that and compare that to the market crash. In 2007 through 2009, we saw one of the most volatile markets, the biggest market meltdown that we've ever seen. And so I want to take a look at how the performance of the short strangles did during those two periods. So to do that, we're going to go to the CML option strategy backtester, the CML trade machine. And what we're looking at is trading a strangle. It's a short strangle. We're selling that. Obviously with SPY, there's no earnings. It's an ETF. So we're just going to put nothing special there. We're going to open the trade at normal time. We're going to close the trade when we have gains at 50% of max profit. And then we're going to open our next trade immediately. So as soon as we take one off, we're going to open a new one. Now, keep in mind, this is not even taken into consideration implied volatility, okay? So this means we're just putting these on whether implied volatility is low, implied volatility is high. It doesn't matter. We're just putting on a strangle no matter what and, and seeing what happens over this period. So I want to start with the five-year study, going back to the most recent five years. And typically when we sell strangles at Navigation Trading, we're kind of playing in this area. We're selling the 15 delta, 20 delta, 30 delta, somewhere in here. I went ahead and added the 40 delta and the 50 delta, which would essentially be a short straddle uh, at the 50 delta, uh, but just give you some different points of reference. And so what you'll see is during the last five years, I mean, it performed really well. I mean, high win rates, 88%, 82%, 81%. So very high win rates, uh, and it's been a profitable strategy. Now, keep in mind, if we were just putting these on during high implied volatility, these numbers would be even better. Uh, we've been talking to Ophir and his team at CML about adding that implied volatility filter. It's not in the software yet, but hopefully it will be in the future and we'll be able to see how much that enhances the returns even more. Okay, so no surprise there. Bull market, contracting implied volatility, it's a profitable strategy. But the question is, and where I want to take this, is to the 2007-2009 time frame. Again, this was one of the most volatile times we've ever seen, one of the biggest market crashes we've ever seen. And so I want to see how this performed during this period. Because again, when you're selling a strangle, these are naked options, right? The risk is theoretically undefined. The key is, A, to keep your position size small relative to your account size, and to continue to put these trades on, just like we're showing here. In this case, we're just putting one on. As soon as it closes, we're putting on another one. That one closes, we're putting on a, another one. And this helps give you an idea of how that has performed. So look at how this has performed. With the 15 Delta, it made over 53%, over 91% win rate. 20 Delta made over 74%, with over a 90% win rate. The 30 Delta made over 52%, 82% win rate. And then you can see the 40 and the 50 were positive as well. One of the key takeaways here is if I hover over this graph here, you can see this box pops up and you can see that over that period of time, the S&P 500 was down 15.1%. 
every other strategy, regardless of the delta you chose, every other short strangle, regardless of the delta you chose, was positive. And it was, it was positive significantly. So it wasn't as good as it was in a bull market, right? But it was still positive and it beat the pants off the S&P 500. So if you're comparing this to investing in mutual funds or, you know, it's very popular just to buy index funds, right? I'm going to buy low cost index funds, track the market. Well, just by doing this simple, simple option strategy, putting a strangle on, taking it off, putting a strangle on, taking it off. Just by doing that one simple strategy, you beat the pants off of the S&P 500. So that's the takeaway. And the reality is, you know, this strategy where there's perceived fear, there's perceived risk of having uncovered options, naked options, theoretically unlimited risk, during one of the biggest market meltdowns, it still was profitable, okay? And again, this isn't even taking into consideration picking and choosing when we put these on, where we're picking and choosing, only putting them on in high implied volatility. This is putting them on in high implied volatility, low implied volatility, just putting them on one after another, so I hope this was helpful and just showing you the power of what this backtesting strategy can help give you, not only from a confidence standpoint, but overall just finding your, your opportunities. If you're interested in getting your own access to this software, to the CML Trade Machine Pro, we have worked out a deal with Ophir Gottlieb and his team at CML, where normally the software is $149 a month, and that price just went up. It was $129 as he continues to put additional resources and value in the software, uh, that, that price will continue to go up. However, for navigation trading members, he has given us a special over 40% off at just $89 a month. If you're interested in checking that out and learning more, there's some videos there on this page. Just go to cmlviz.com forward slash navt. cmlviz.com forward slash navt. Hope this was helpful. We'll talk to you next time.